What's going on everybody? Today I got Mr. Lambert here. Today I'm picking up a, a very special pup from Mr. Lambert here at Hot Rock Kennels. Today I just want to give him a chance to speak on uh, the quality of his dogs, uh, how long he's been in the business, just give some information in the background on, on what he has going on. It's a, it's a real good guy. Uh, like I said, I just experienced eight weeks of, uh, or seven and a half weeks of just talking to him every day. He's sending videos of the puppies, updates every single day. Um, I never had this experience with any other breeder. He's got a lot of knowledge, so of course I wanted to get this information out to my audience as well, anybody out there, because I know I get a lot of people asking for uh, Rockwaller pups. This is the place to come if you in the Southeast region, Columbus, Georgia, Phoenix City. He's based right out here in Phoenix City. If you want a good quality pup, it's the place to be. But, uh, Mr. Lambert, you want to explain to the people who you are, what you do, everything up sure thanks dante no problem uh, first of all we appreciate you uh looking at us our kennel to purchase a pup right uh, that meant a lot to us uh, i'm glad we had the quality that you was looking for that we uh in a rock wall that we had so right uh, that says a lot of our kennel and your plans and what you want to do with your kennel so uh, on behalf of me and my wife thank you for that uh, so yeah, um, well, I think the, the best thing, the, the most important thing to be is honest with people. Be honest with people. Uh, when you honest with someone, they know what they're getting into. Uh, there's no hidden agendas and things of that sort. So uh, I think that's just very important. I'll be honest with you. I definitely agree with that. Uh, I believe you're very transparent, like I said, in the whole process as far as uh, when I first reached out, give me your phone number. I uh, say, hey, you can call me, FaceTime me, video time me, see anything you need to see to let you know you are a real person. You really do have these dogs on your yard. You're not a scam. You absolutely, know what I'm saying? absolutely. And so that took a lot, knowing, that, like I say, when you're speaking on quality, when you're dealing with quality people, when they're dealing with quality products, those are the things that you want to be able to see on hand and know that, okay, he does have production and I can see and he doesn't mind me calling and talking the information because he is a real person and I am talking to a good guy. So yeah, I definitely, I understand transparency is a big thing. Well, how did you get the name Hot Rods? Um, the word hot has been with me for, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> the word hot has been with me. I'm from Alabama. Gotcha. So ever since the Hot Boys came out of Louisiana, <laughs> the word hot has been gotcha. with me. Gotcha, facts, facts, facts. Uh, you know, you got tattoos, but hot. Oh, that's right. You know, that's right. You know, so it's always been hot. So right. why not hot rocks? Mm -hmm. So and the wife was like, "That's you right there." That's I you. like that. Yeah, you yeah. know. So um, that's how hot rocks the name came about. Gotcha. Yeah. How, about how long have you just been, I guess, dealing with dogs or rock wilds in particular? So, uh, great question. So uh, I've been loving the rock wilders since middle school. One of my teachers had one. He had several. It was mm -hmm. the most beautiful dog I ever seen in my life. Right. But I was scared of them. Mm -hmm. But it was beautiful. That's right. Uh, so I fell in love at that age. Gotcha. So in 1999, me and my wife purchased our first rock. Mm -hmm. uh, then we got another. So we had two. Uh, but I went overseas to Germany and I couldn't take the dog with us. Mm -hmm. So we left the dog with our mom. Uh, with my mom, brother. And uh, so the love been there since 99. We purchased we purchased our first rock wall in 99. But due to military obligations, mm -hmm. I just couldn't take the dog with us. So right she told me, to thank you. So she told me I couldn't get another rock waller until I retired. God. So once I put that retirement paperwork in, <laughs> I wasn't even retired yet, but I knew that was gonna happen. That's right. I went and got my first one. I went and got my first rock wall. That's good. Uh, so that's about 20 plus years, huh? And as far as speaking on quality, how do you feel the quality has changed from when you first got into the game and to now? And as a breeder, what like how you're speaking on earlier to the quality, what do you look for in the quality and the quality of your preference? That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great question. Um, so, Truthfully, everybody doesn't have quality. Gotcha. That's not to say everybody doesn't have a great dog. 
it's, the, it's different levels, different tiers to quality. You know, so I don't want to be um, taken out. Of, I don't want to be taken out of context that I'm saying because you don't have a dog for me or other breeders, game changer that you don't have a quality dog. You just don't. You you might have a great dog, but the quality level is different. That's right. So uh, because I never breed a good dog with a bad dog. Because if the dad is good, the mom is bad, or the mom is good, the dad is bad, you're not producing quality dogs. Exactly. You want both parents for quality. Exactly. And though that's what people are seeing. I'm gonna get a great dad and mix them with a sub or a mom, breed them, and produce puppies. You can't have quality like that. Right. And that's just not my opinion. That's factual. Mm -hmm. Not to say that they do not be they won't be great pets, but they're not they might not they're not great quality pets. Gotcha. So that's the difference. They can be great pets, okay. but the quality is different. Mm -hmm. So when you're speaking on Rockwallers, you know, it's three, it's four different looks to Rockwallers. So just to say my look is this, your look is that, your look is that, your look is that, all of them can be top quality, but it's four different looks. Gotcha. So you want to be versatile with the looks because I might not like what you like, You might I might not like what Jonathan like, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, if I got quality Rockwallers, most people are not going to really care uh, about so much about that look, mm -hmm. that particular look. Right. You know, I guess. Because it's certain looks, like people speak on like uh, certain looks of dogs. I have no problem with it, but they don't like it. That's not to say the dog quality is, is terrible. You just don't like that dog. Thanks. But to me, that dog is top quality, and the dog has top quality genetics. So it's it's, it's a lot of it goes back to per prefer personal preferences. But you want to have quality too. I do. Well, uh, speaking on that, as far as quality, you all like I said, you always want to keep it for quality. Uh, I know you gave me a little game as far as uh, dealing with your vets and building a relationship with your vets. Um, could you give our audience some advice as far as uh, when it comes to when you're dealing with quality dogs? Why it's important to have good relationships with your vets and why it's important to have your dogs going to the vet? Uh, great question again. So, never compromise your dog's health by going the cheap route. Your vet is the subject matter expert for dogs. But if right. you take that shortcut, it could be something your dog can have, your dog could, could be growing um, every month, great. Just growing, uh, just gradually, little by little by little. Plan, everything's going um, poorly. You don't see anything. Right. But if you don't take your dog to get, say for an example, a fecal test, and that dog can have a parasite in this growing, this this stunning his growth. But you're thinking, man, my dog's not growing fast enough this year. But she's doing everything. The move is fine. But if I go to the dog, go to the vet and get my dog uh, looked at, the vet might see someone under a microscope that we can't see. Exactly. Now my dog then would gain 20 pounds in one month. Like, what'd you do? I didn't do anything. Right. But get removed that parasite right. that was taking the nutrients. So you want to go with your vets, uh, especially when you spend uh, your hard-earned money for these dogs. These dogs are not cheap. Right. When you start spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for dogs, if you can't afford to take them to the vet, my honest opinion, you don't need that dog. You can't afford to take care of them by taking the dog to the vet and getting the best quality care for the vet. That's not to say you need to go to the highest vet in your county, in your city, in your state, but you need to go to a vet and let the experts do their job. Gotcha. I definitely agree. So again, that was a very great points and I, I know you had a long morning i've been out here i want to appreciate you for your hospitality and your and your lovely wife and jennifer uh for inviting me into your home and allowing us to see the dogs and bringing out each dog and actually having an experience with buying your puppy because i know sometimes i, I went and bought a puppy and it's just hey here's your pup bye there you go <laughs> <laughs> but this was truly an experience we've, we've been out here for about an hour and a half um and i just want to tell the people what i feel is a reason why they should go to Hot Rods and then I want you to be able to follow up and 
explain to the people why you feel because this is your brand okay. and i also want you to of course give them uh, your contact resource how they can get in contact with you your facebook things like that okay and uh and we'll end it off there uh but personally like i said getting here this morning uh seeing everybody seeing the puppies running around in the yard seeing uh your other rottweilers all that was an experience but that was just today that was only an hour and a half of, of time today uh literally from from day one seven and a half weeks from day one i got pictures updates info anytime i had a question you were there to answer it anytime i needed anything from you you were always there you were precise about it it was very what the thing i said day one i appreciate your professionalism because that's what stood out because like i said earlier knowing that i can talk to somebody and knowing i can call you and say hey this is what's going on and we have a real conversation i know i'm not dealing with a scammer or somebody that's just in it for the money i can tell that you're a family man i, tell, I can tell that you're a man of morals you know what i'm saying so with that i appreciated that and when i'm like say spending my heart on money those are things that i want to i want to look to are they professional do they have good morals do they stand for something uh and then on the other side you got good quality dogs <laughs> you got an experience with it i mean it's just like i say the whole package you, you didn't miss uh of course, I ain't gonna give away all your game because if you want to see the experience that I'm talking about and why I'm so excited, why I'm smiling, get a puppy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Get a puppy. Uh, again, I definitely appreciate it. I know we'll stay in contact. I know you'll see much of, of your beautiful female with me. And uh, it's gonna be definitely a, a big experience. Okay. I appreciate it. Uh, like I said, uh, I've also been following you. I've been seeing the training you're doing with your dogs, uh, how you get, you interact with your dogs, you know. So don't think because you came and bought a dog from me that I don't watch you. I watch you, I share your posts. That's right. You know, because I'm being honest, when you find young men that are passionate about something, it's very important to, it's very important to support one another. You're passionate about what you're doing. You believe in, that's number one, you believe in what you're doing and you're passionate. Those are two uh, uh, attributes that I caught from you from day one. I appreciate it. Uh, and you did that yourself. Uh, so, you know, I, you, you, you caught my eye too. You know, that's why I told my wife, hey, he trained dog. That's gonna be the, that's the perfect dog for him. That's right. She had plenty of drive attitude. You had the last pick and you got the perfect dog for what you like to do. Well, I said destined for you. <laughs> it was destined for you. You know, if I was going to keep one, uh, and I told you which ones I was going to keep. You did. And I told you that was going to be one of them. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You pointed so, out. You know, but, uh, but yeah, um, you know, if you're looking for a quality rock wallet, you can hit us up at uh, on Facebook. At Hot Rock Kennels, or you can hit us up on uh, we're on TikTok. I think it's Morando76 on TikTok. Uh, we're on there. Those are the only two social media platforms, but you can give us a call at 334 560 6758 between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern Time, <laughs> Monday through Saturday. Um, and you're gonna talk to a real person. You're gonna talk to a real person. It's not gonna be an assistant. Um, if I'm on the phone, I send you a little text, I call you back, and I call back. That's right. You know, I'll have, and, um, and when you, you said about the experience, definitely. I want my experience when you're dealing with me personally to be different than other breeders. Gotcha. I'm not in competition with any other breeders, right. but I want to give you the experience that I will want to have. That's why, you know, I sent pictures from birth until now, or videos, because I want, and a lot of, you see there's a lot of families out here. Yeah. I want the families to be excited by getting their dog. They seen the whole experience from us bottle feeding to yep. them now. Yep, yep. You know. Yep. Uh, I ain't speak how many puppies it was. <laughs> yeah, and, and it was 12 puppies. Yep. This has been our biggest litter. Uh, and by far, they haven't been our, they have, they, this have been our largest litter. Mm -hmm. They not, they haven't been our biggest puppies, but it was 12 puppies. Right. She ended up having 14. Mm -hmm. So we started off small anyway. Exactly. You know, uh, so. Only one mom, she gotta keep up. Uh, she gotta keep up, yes, <laughs> that's a lot. But she was a great mom. That's right. Uh, so, you know, my advice to you, 
keep pushing. Days are going to get hard. Times going to get hard. It's going to get frustrating. And you see even on my Facebook page, I get frustrated sometimes, yeah. you know, because it's, it's people in this world that no matter what you try to do, they will try to find something bad in it. Definitely. And it just looks like they pick it. Definitely. <laughs> you know, so don't 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 let people get to you. Yes, Keep sir. driving for what, the, what you believe in. Gotcha. And, and when things go bad, um, keep pushing forward. You don't need somebody to talk to, call me. I might not have the answer. But I got other buddies I can reach out and get the answer. Right. Because it does me no good to have this information, this knowledge, and not share it with you guys. If I die, the, the knowledge is gone. Facts. So why am I keeping it in my head? Facts. For one, I'm in, not in competition with anybody. For two, I'm all about helping people. That's right. But just like you said, I'm not going to give you all the game I got. You never purchased a dog for me. Right. I'm not stupid now. I mean, right. you know, I don't want you all to be stupid. I don't want to mind helping people. But support and help the people that support and help you. I agree. I definitely um, agree. But yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed the experience. Yes, uh, I really enjoyed you guys being patient. You know, we had one guy running late. He had everybody like in limbo, but it actually worked yeah. out because everybody seen the dogs. That's right. Uh, you know, the pitch went pretty pretty well uh, for a timeline besides him. But we got the males out the way, so everything kind of worked out. Gotcha. Uh, so yeah. So well, again, like I said, I definitely appreciate it. This guy is now on camera time. From the day one, this is exactly how you at. Laid back, cool, <laughs> chill, giving y'all good information. Uh, that's what's going on, Mr. Lambert. Again, like I said, I appreciate you for inviting us into your home. If you want a good rock ball of pup, you see here, you heard it. Hot Rod's Kennels, he's here. He got him on hand. Contact him for any information you heard him say yourself. And, uh, it's gonna be big. It's, it's gonna be epic. I, I definitely like the uh, the collab that we got. As far as like I say, I've been watching you for a while. I showed you it's been two years, so it's been expect, anticipated. I mean, so it, it's definitely gonna be big things. And I appreciate you giving the, the knowledge that you gave and uh, the words that you get that you just gave. I really appreciate that. And in, in other words, and just like I'm not to cut you off, but you I, just like you said. You've been, you've been watching me for two years. That's right. You done watched my price change in two years. That's right. Facts. You know, for but you but you didn't, you, you didn't, bam, you you never, why your price changed to that? You never questioned, but you've seen, you've been watching two years, the better quality dogs than we have yet. That's, That's right. right. That's right. So you pay for what you get. That's right. You and now that Dante has this same quality he's putting in his yard and his kennels, expects his prices to change. You know, it's, at the end of the day, you're paying for the quality you get. You know, you can't ask somebody to, you, you want to pay one breeder one price, another breeder the next price, and their quality is the same. Mm -hmm. So don't, don't be trying to lowball them and, <laughs> and, 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 you know, things of that. Uh, but, but I appreciate you. Yes, sir. I appreciate you. Father's Day tomorrow. Yeah. Happy Father's Day. Appreciate I know you're a family, man. Yeah, I got my yeah. grandkids in there. They That's right. So, <laughs> yeah. That's right. And happy Juneteenth to everybody out there. This is a big, big weekend for game changing, but an even bigger win, a uh, bigger weekend for Hot Rocks. They was able to produce a lot of quality pups and get them to their family safely. Uh, like I said, it's definitely been an experience. Y'all heard the generosity here. Y'all gonna see us soon. Make sure you add him on Facebook, Hot Rod Kennels. You heard him about the TikTok, Miranda76. Stay in contact and stay in touch. We'll see y'all soon. Peace.